Toronto, Toronto plant, and Mr. Hartfield's going to the top. I have not two, seen a Toronto plant in one, bracket before. Go! I've seen it in bracket, I've never seen this matchup before. I think they're just doing the button check right now. No, it looks like they're gonna get into it. So I think the advantage of Toronto plant obviously has this range. Clearly. Definitely. Toronto Plant's got range. They're both kind of heavy guys, so... Yeah, but I think Donkey Kong's got better agility. Oh, yeah, definitely. Donkey Kong's oh. got a few, um... He's got less lag on a lot of his moves. Toronto Plant's actually got surprising lag on a few of his moves. Right. You know, Hardfield is really getting up in Don's face, uh, which is interesting to see. Yeah, that killed! Uh, wow. Oh. Oh, it's really high up in the air for Tumi. For the kill. Nice reverse ledge guard. That's definitely that poison you need to be looked out for. Exactly. But I think uh, Dom has an advantage here. Ooh. Ooh, that amazing recovery from Toronto. Definitely. Definitely should have um, tried the forward throw him off that stage instead of instead of bouncing him off the ledge. Yeah. I think the advantage that all Piranha Plants have over everyone is that not everyone has um, matchup experience against Piranha Plants. As hilarious as the character is, no one actually plays him. Yeah, it's a shame because he's got a lot of really cool mechanics, like the Patui, his recovery. Um, his down is actually really yeah, you can snipe someone really well. If you do it off the ledge, if you do yeah. it in the air off the ledge, you can actually fall down. I've seen some pretty jank stuff with Brom. It's a shame not as many people have picked him up. Seriously. Ooh, that was a good, that was a good forward air for Dunk Dunk. Heart deals really bringing it back right now. It definitely taking advantage of all the of all the stuff um, gifts here. But it seems to me that the weakness for Dunk Kong right now is that Batui. Definitely that Batui is pretty safe if you just keep it up on you. Yep. Oh. I've only think I've seen three or four times that Batui has not liked it. I'm sure he's so good too, because like, even if you do it when they hit you, it'll still come down and hit the opponent. Exactly, point. yeah, so it can get you out of the grab, any number of uh, combo setups. I've seen it used a lot Oh, with the clap, taking game one, hard feels. But I'm saying, I've seen a really good setup uh, getting it out of Mario's up air combo. Oh yeah. With the lands of Tui. Or it starts the Patui, and then Mario comes in to grab, down throw to combo, combo, combo up, and the Patui landed and got him out of it. Got him out of it. Was, yeah. oh, uh, to see. Another little random thing for Brown Plant, if he's um, ducking and you, and, you, and you jump on him, you right. take damage. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because his mouth is facing right above you, so when you jump on it, he actually bites you. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a weird little thing that like no one's ever gonna really use, oh, right? but it's just like a it's just it's an interesting little tip. Like, like, almost like DDD's top. Yeah. Is that still that's still ha that's still there. I don't think it does. That sucks. All right, so moving from uh, Three, two, K to WarioWare. Uh, this is gonna be interesting, and I think it's gonna give uh, Donkey Kong the advantage. No options for Prime Line to run away. Yeah, definitely flash stages usually tend to go better for the, for, the, for the bigger, meatier hitters of the game. Avoid the two reverse ledge cards. Nice fair. Ooh! Wow. That was daring. That was, that was kind of dirty. I don't know why. Edge, fair to kill. That, that DK copter, man, that is 
that it probably just want to be it's the worst recovery, but it feels so safe when you do it like that. Right. It's not very similar from uh, Piranha Plants, except uh, where Piranha Plants go vertical. Oh, oh got him on the... That was... No. It looked like he had grabbed the ledge. He did, but all, I think up. all of his old invincibility frames were up. That's some jank frame data right there, dude. Hit him with the two E. What I think Piranha Plant needs to do, or Dong needs to do, is to start spamming the poison as a yeah. ledge guard. He's using the two E, which is great, but he's conditioned. Hard feels to really avoid it. He starts using the poison cloud as a ledge guard. I think that would really be a nice mix up. That would definitely be that would that would definitely start making him be a little more cautious about going to right, exactly. Because it's gonna knock him out of his uh, up air. Not his up air, his up smash, which is the helicopter, right? Yeah. yeah. I'd also like to see him go for more down smash or down beat. And off the air from for the win. Hardfield's taking it 2 0 here in Winner's Round. That's what I was going to say. So many options so so would be grassy. He can do so right. much with you. But I also think that's the disadvantage for Piranha Plant players or mains is that they don't have enough experience against a lot of people. Yeah, that's because true. Because they don't get out and often this play because you don't see them in tournaments. I hardly see them at Smash Fest. If anyone's playing with them, it's just for funs, not really labbing the characters. Which is a shame because I think Piranha Plant has the potential to be dangerous.